So my name is Josh Levin. I'm 21 years old. I'm from Sunnyvale, California. I grew up in the Bay Area and I started climbing when I was about four years old. Um, growing up, I, I always climbed all of, the, all of my crib, all of our bookshelves and tabletops. So my parents really just wanted to try and find something that was going to be constructive and not have me getting myself hurt. So luckily, one of my friends had a climb pass to a local gym, and I went and tried it out and absolutely loved it. And I was hooked ever since. So my very first climbing experience in that gym, I was really, really scared because the walls were about 25 feet high, and I was really afraid of heights at that point in time. And so uh, one of the local instructors, she decided to give me private lessons. And it was really good for her that she decided to do that. Uh, because it helped me overcome my fear of heights and be able to go more accustomed to being in a climbing gym, being in a climbing environment, and really helped me push my own limits in a way that I was comfortable with at the time. So after one or two years of that, I started becoming more confident in my abilities, and I decided to start doing competitions. And that was a lot of fun because I started meeting kids from all over the country, all over the world, doing international, national level competitions, and it was a really, really good experience for me. So I had a lot of fun doing that, and eventually, after a couple years, um, I started uh, placing on the U.S. national team and competing for the United States. And since then, I've been to many World Cups and World Championships, and it's been a really good time. So at the beginning of my climbing career, when I was a little bit too shy to become involved in a climbing gym environment, I was really, really young and kind of introverted. Uh, the local coach there decided to take me under her wing and give me private lessons. And with those private lessons, I was able to really uh, become more confident in my abilities, uh, so physically and mentally, and push myself a little bit harder each time. And that was really, really beneficial for me because I was able to see uh, growth in my personal and physiological development. And it was really beneficial because I was able to take that in the gym environment and translate that to climbing outside and in competitions. And it was, it's just been a huge blessing in my life. Um, so the person who really helped me do that, her name is Stacy, and she really helped me push past that because she saw the ability in me and the, the potential for me to be able to excel in climbing, and she gave me the chance to be able to do that, and I'm really thankful for that, and she's actually one of my biggest heroes in life because uh, a couple years into my training, when I was about 9 or 10 years old, she is actually diagnosed with a rare lung disease called LAM and the only cure is a double lung transplant. And so even with that, she was still coaching and training up until when she actually got the double lung transplant in 2004. So 10 years later, she was actually able to continue to do so and still kept climbing after that. And it's been amazing for me to watch her and see her be completely strong and mentally there with everything that she's had to go through, including all the surgeries and medical procedures and everything. And she's definitely one of my biggest heroes in life.